Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful, sunshiny San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are fired up and ready for a great day today. I don't know if y'all can hear the birds up above. And here's what I want you to think about today. You cannot keep a bird from flying over your head. You cannot keep a bird from flying over your head. And you can, for darn sure, keep him from building a nest in your hair. You can't keep a bird from flying over your head. You can darn sure make sure that he does not build a nest in your hair. What do I mean by that, ladies and gentlemen? What I mean by that is your thoughts determine your life. You cannot prevent the first thought from hitting your head. As soon as a thought hits your head, it's there. Most people are completely unaware that they have the power and the ability to stop it. The picture I had in my mind years ago um, was that of a gigantic six foot five, 350 pound muscle bound bouncer at a nightclub. You know those movies where they have those real exclusive nightclubs where there's a line of people wrapped around the building and all you hear is a Trent, what's up brother? Everybody's waiting in line, nobody can come in. There's a big old dude standing there at the front of the club and he's like, yeah, your name ain't on the list. And then somebody pulls up in a Lamborghini, up pop the doors, guy or girl walk up and he goes, come on in. You are the armed guard at the gate of your mind. You can't keep a bird from flying over your head. You can darn sure keep them from building a nest in your hair. Here's my point. You cannot keep or prevent that first thought from hitting your head. And you can decide how long you are going to let it stay there. And most importantly, whether or not you choose to replace it with a more powerful thought or a different story. There's no meaning to any situation except the meaning you attach to it. What meaning will you choose to attach to it? I can't believe she did that. That's terrible. She meant to hurt me. That might be the first thought. That might be the bird flying over your head. Do you have the power to change that? Yes, you do. What can you say? You can say, hey, I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're having a rough day. That's obviously an issue with them and not with me. Man, bless them. I sure hope they get better with that and, you know, brush that dust off your shoulder. Know what I'm saying? You don't have to entertain the first thought that comes in your mind. You also don't have to agree with the first thought that comes to your mind. I challenge you to question those thoughts and to realize you have the power to replace those thoughts. One of my favorite things, the little shepherd boy who cut the head off a guy named Goliath said in Psalm 119 verse 11 that I love, he said, God, I've hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. That means he had an active role in saying, God, what do you say about this situation? What is your perception of this situation? What's your take on the situation, the situations of life? How do you see it, God? Because I see it a certain way, and I'm just a feeble, sinful, crazy man. You are not. How do you see it? He got that in his heart, so when the situation arose and that bird flew over his head with the cheese ball thought, he could say, nah, nah man, you ain't coming in the club. You ain't coming in the club. You can't keep the bird from flying over your head. You can keep him from building a nest in your hair. You cannot control that first thought. You do have the power to decide how long it's gonna stay there and whether or not you choose to replace it with a more powerful thought like King David did. So when stuff came down on him, he had hidden God's word in his heart so that he would know how to stand and see it through the lenses of the God that King David served. And so you have the same power, my friend. You do not have to agree with the first thought that enters your mind. Are you ready for me to blow your mind on this? Ready for this? This is really good, really good. Not every thought you hear is your own. Not every thought you hear is your own. Nature, nurture, environment, programming, mommy, daddy, Uncle Billy, Aunt Susie, the newsman, the weatherman, the people at work, the people around the coffee pot. Not every thought you have is your own. My challenge to you today, my beloved friends, is this. You may not be able to control the first thought that comes into your mind and you can decide how long it's going to stay there and whether or not you choose it to replace that thought with something powerful 
that will change your state of being. And my hope is you don't change it with something funky like, well, the universe is just going to smile upon me today. I'm going to encourage you to replace it with something in God's Word because it's alive and active and powerful. It's amazing. It does amazing things. When you feel like, man, I don't think I can do this. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who makes me strong. Oh, this is terrible. I just got into a car wreck. Romans 8.28 tells me that all things work together for good to them who love God and who are called according to His purpose. This is going to work out for my good. Oh my gosh, I don't know how my future is looking really bad. Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future, my friends. You can't stop that bird from flying over your head. You can decide to not let him build a nest in your hair. You may not be able to control the first thought. You can decide how long it's going to stay there and whether or not you choose to replace it with something powerful. Replace it with something powerful and have an awesome day.